Ach, aye, and we are the new. Welcome, you're watching hell bent. Because all these people are going to hell. Because they're having sex with each other. The same sex. Now tonight we've got some very interesting guests. We've got Slush, what's that all about? And we also have, bloody hell, it's bloody too hot for that. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Uh, well, not back. Uh, you're still watching. This is the last show for this season, so you might have a bit of a break. Thank you very much for tuning in for the, the whole season. We keep working on the show and, and getting it better. And now, one of our favourite acts, Zuni and the Angels of Fortune with Stay Away. What gives you the right, hey, hey, what gives you the right? What gives you the right, hey, hey, what gives you the right? What gives you the right, hey, hey, what gives you the right? What gives you the right, hey, hey, what gives you the right? Oh, what gives you the right to hurt our children? What gives you the right to beat and kill them? What gives you the right to hurt our children? What gives you the right to beat and kill them? Stay away, I say to you. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away from our children. What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? I say, stay away. What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? I say, stay away. What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? I say, stay away. What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? I say, stay away. What gives you the right? Hey, hey, what gives you the right? Oh, what gives you the right to hurt our children? What gives you the right to beat and kill them? What gives you the right to hurt our children? What gives you the right to beat and kill them? Stay away, I say to you. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away from our children. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away, I say to you. Stay away from our children. Stay away from our children. Stay away from our children. Get away from those kids, you people. Get away from them. Slash, do you have kids? No, none, darling. None at all. Oh, all right. Only if they're old enough to dust, I believe. That's it. Yes. Oh, all right. Yes, now, I'm, I'm here with Slash, who you may have seen on our last show. And thank you very much for doing that. Now, you are uh, originally from Tasmania, is that correct? Yes, I am, right down at the little Apple Isle, yes. <laughs> Apple Isle. Yes. You've got this very interesting sort of a Dame Edna kind of a thing happening. Oh, it's, 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 you know, years and years in Tasmania and trying to convince people that I'm really a woman. <laughs> Now, um, you're, you're, uh, you opened Sexpo. Yes, I did. Um, but uh, it was through some slight accident. You know, Miss Sue Ridge actually uh, twisted her ankle the night before. And I don't know who pushed her down the stairs, but um, yes, yeah, so I got offered to do it, <laughs> uh, which was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Now, and, and you had something that was called, I believe, The Horror Show. Is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, a friend of mine came along to that. Uh, Linda Blair herself came mm -hmm. to that. And uh, I had uh, a few other guests. Freddy Krueger, Hannibal Lecter. Um, Vampirella came along, yes. So I take it these are people that you portrayed? Um, no, not only myself, some other drag queens too, yes. Um, they played the other characters, yes. But um, I am Linda herself, incarnate. Yes. Do us a line, do us a line. You know what she did? <laughs> Your cup hunting daughter? Because <laughs> no, you, you're, you dig horror, don't you? I love horror. Because that's how you got started with the whole drag thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, through the Rocky Horror Show, actually. I went to see um, that thinking it was a horror movie, and um, Tim Curry burst out doing Sweet Transvestite, and I thought, look, bugger the horror shows, I want to be that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's your favourite horror film? 
It's got to be The Exorcist, yeah. The Exorcist, because yeah. it really is, it's a really frightening film. It's it that really do-do-do-do music at the beginning, it's just, you know. See, I kind of like the sort of the big, great trashy films myself. Oh yeah, that's great too. Like, Mars Attacks was wonderful, I thought, you know, the, the special effects with our whole concept of um, big, great film behind it, you know. But I actually think that the effects were much too good for the film. Oh, I think definitely. it ruined it, personally. Yes. But you can't beat those wicked little aliens getting in there and um, convincing everyone that they were there for peace and then blowing them up. <laughs> now, um, you've, you've been in, in, in Melbourne for a short time. Yeah. Is it difficult getting, getting work and is it difficult breaking into the drag community? Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, I've, I've met a lot of nice people here so far and I get a few gigs here and there, but like um, a lot of them seem to have their stage routines and their stage shows and um, yeah, so... Sure. Oh, you're not uh, getting to work I now, mean, I tell you. I mean, may maybe I'll just have to push a few more people down some stairs. <laughs> I tell you, watch out, she's out there, she is dangerous. Um, what's, what, do you believe in all UFOs? Well, ever since I met Fox Mulder, of course. Oh, the uh, truth is out abduct there. Abduct me, abduct me. David Duchovny is out there. Oh, David Anchovy, darling. David Anchovy? Oh, well, something oh. like that. Yeah, so what do you think like, life in, on Mars would actually be like? Uh, very rare down here. Hot. Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, okay, cool. Thank you very much. Now, you're actually going to be doing a little number for us later on? Yes, I will. And what, what, what's that going to be? I think it might be, I think he's gay. Uh, I think you might be gay as well. But right now we're going over to uh, our resident funny man, Marty. He's, he's, he's very amusing. And, well, amusing. He's fucking... Marty! What are you talking about? Marty, take it away! Take it, babe. Because I don't know what I'm doing out here. I was at the zoo the other day. And uh, I don't know about you, but every time I go to the zoo, I just look around and I think, wow, what a, a vast range of wonderful and beautiful animals this planet of ours has produced. And I start thinking... Maybe there's some divine reason behind this all. Maybe there's this single hand that has brought forth these wonderful bounties of nature. And then I think, if there is, then he's off his nut. Go, just have a look at some of these things. We've got three-toed slows, so we've got duck-billed platypus. What kind of mind comes up with that? The tapir. Who needs the tapir? It's basically a miniature elephant in drag. What kind of person is running the show? But, uh, but anyway, I'd paid my money, so I decided to have a look around and... Uh, the thing, thing about the zoo is it's a big con because you've, you've got all your childhood basic, you know, the, the, you've seen the cartoons where everyone goes along and they're having a lovely time, the elephant showers them, the umbrellas are out and the, the lion's on a unicycle and everything. Nothing like that happens. I was so disappointed. I walked in, there's a mob of animals in cages staring at me going, fuck off. I want to be back in Africa. Piss off. So, uh... I'm wandering around, and I go to the giant turtle enclosure. I don't know if you've been to the giant turtle enclosure, but there's, there's a fence about eight inches high to stop the things escaping. And you think, it's a good thing that thing's there. Those things are going to be right savages when they get up a good lumber. I think they should take the fence away, personally. Let the giant turtles have the range of the zoo. Just pick up a forklift and take them back to where they come from at the end of the day. But um, I was standing there, and I was photographing the giant, the giant turtles, the giant tortoises, I should say. And I was there for about five minutes, and then I realised there weren't any tortoises there. I was photographing rocks. I couldn't tell the difference. It's a large grey thing. What did I know? <laughs> the giant tortoises were all out the back in a shed having a kip. I sort of like walked in. There's three tons of giant tortoises asleep, doing absolutely bugger all. I thought I paid for this. So now I, th I thought I'd get a bit more action. I went to see the the duck-billed platypus, and, th and that's always exciting, because you have to go down into this sort of like tunnel thing. And it's very dimly lit, and there's, you know, it's very quiet, and there's a big tank, and the platypus is swimming along. Do, 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 do. That, that's the noise the platypus makes, if anyone's ever heard it. And um, there's big signs up saying, shh, the platypus is a nocturnal animal. Mine is a quiet world. You will scare me. So we're all tiptoeing in there. Someone drops their keys. And to add to the atmosphere, there's a tape of nocturnal noises, you know. Cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was my owl impersonation. I, I got medals for doing that in high school. Woo -hoo -hoo. And I was standing there, the platypus was swimming along. Do, 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 do. And then in the background tape, there's a noise like, ah! And we're going, what the fuck was that? You know, we're, dro we're dropping our keys, we're bumping into each other. Someone knocks over a drum kit. Shh, shh, shh. Platypus couldn't give us stuff. He's still swimming backwards and forwards. Do, 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 do. But I think, I think the problem with modern zoos is they don't have enough modern animals. I, th I think the modern animal that we really need to get into zoos are politicians. Because let's face it, let's look at the politicians of the past, the great Greek and Roman statesmen who all had their beautiful flowing oratory style, all in classical Greek or Latin. They were very educated. 
And uh, what have we got nowadays? The basic politician speech is, it's not our fault, it was like that when we got here. Let's face it, politicians are de-evolving. I say we put the politicians behind bars, on display, where everyone can enjoy these wonderful, beautiful, savage, but strange creatures of nature. Or, uh, if we're really stuck for animals, I'm sure we could always put Remy on in that hat. What do you think, Remy? <laughs> Well, yeah, quite possibly. Now, I actually know a story about, uh, I was in Holland, uh -huh. and this woman had a finger bitten off by a turtle. I mean, how thick do you have to be to go like, you know, oh. They're savage when they get riled, I tell I you. I wonder if it'll bite. Oh, it might take a while. But we've got to go, we've got to, wild rice is here. Wild rice, they're here, and they're, they're wild and sure. ricey. They're like sort of cornflakes.
guy at the Coles is just so cute, but, but how do I tell him how I feel? I, it's so difficult. Uh, if only he could just read my mind. I'm making a deal with a Suzuki company and the bosses are coming over for dinner tonight. What am I going to do? Oh, well, Hi. Benny, it's interesting you should say because today in My Trash Keep Cooking we thought we would prepare a cheap sushi for everybody out there. It's easy. It's good mix sushi really, isn't it? It is. And I now, it's very... want to compliment you on your attire before we even got started, oh. Lindsay. I think it's very appropriate oh, for this thank Do you like my new shoes? They are gorgeous because these are to... picnic shoes. Yes, and also, well it is sort of heading into the picnic yes. thing, but I did want to say that really safety is everything in the kitchen and you need to have flat soles because otherwise you'll be I don't tripping over the, the gas stove or something. So very, very important flats in the kitchen. Let's get started. To make this meal, you need some ordinary white bread. Best if you slice the crusts off, as you can see. Now, can I do my face? Because I've actually had letters about my bread face. Now, I've prepared this one earlier. See? Bread face. Do you know what, I think that's the first time we actually got a close-up of it. Oh, my bread face. We've been doing I know. It. Should have now, prepared your bread earlier, and it will look like that. Because we've cut off the crust. Yes, this is the basis for your sushi. Also, you will need for this segment... Oh, dear. Some, I'm dribbling. Some 
What is that? Sardines. sardines. I've chosen one that is in tomato sauce because I think it's very nice. That'll add the flavour. And just, just some really some green things to add in there. Now, method. Do pay attention. Let's have a so now first. I've never done this before. Well, it's quite I, easy. You, you're go, walking me through this one, so to speak. Oh, look, because our I, viewers will notice, Lindsay, that we are profiling orange cordial. We are profiling orange cordial. And it came in that clear bottle with no labels on it whatsoever. No, because there will be no gratuitous publicity here on Ben TV unless, of course, you're paying no whatsoever. Okay, place the sardine on the bread. Right. Very delicate. Delicately. I think that was... There we go, there we go. Sardine is on the bread. Lovely. Oh, yeah. horrid. No, I think it's okay. It's just a tomato sauce. That's the, big, the actual base of your sushi. Right. You probably need to sort of... Of course, the Japanese oh, are very, Oh, you should be doing very... that with nails. Well, it's, I haven't got any condiments or whatever they call them. Now, do you <laughs> want to just pry, slice up that as well? How? While you're doing that, I'll explain. Well, just small, so it fits in the what? sushi. Do you want little chopper bits? Little pieces. Oh, you're kidding. Only two minutes, we'll never make it. I wanted to espouse the, the wonderful benefits of the humble cucumber, and I can't understand why such a fantastic vegetable has been used in such things as cucumber sandwiches. The God, they've got the most anal thing in the world, don't they? We're going to use some cucumbers later on, but you can use these for anything, Lindsay. You, you can, can put them on your eyes. Very yes. refreshing. Of course, we've you done that before, too, have we? Did we? In our yes, last, last taste yes. Thing. So you put those there back to the sushi. Yeah, did I do that right? I think you've done well. Yeah. Now, this is the tricky part. You actually roll very delicately. All <laughs> oh, right. I might use two bits of bread because I think that one's not going to cope. See, this no. is the secret to all success in the kitchen is improvisation. I'll use three bits, actually. <laughs> Just while we're going. Oh, it's there. no longer sushi. It's a it's a salad roll. No, it's okay. Just shove that bit now, back in there. What do I do? I, I pierce that through. Yeah, we'll put those on through there. We there we go. Oh. Mind my... Oh, <laughs> dear. Mind my go. fingers. Well, I want to make sure that they don't fall apart, Kay. This, this is, is to hold it together. There we go. Now, and a little bit of garnish. Yeah, Look. put some garnish to the there. side on the top. But I also so, thought this go. is where Look we could that. perhaps... It's so nice. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I think we'll get letters on this segment. We will. Also, I'm using here, as you can see, this is a fantastic item. It's a cocktail onion. actually really brings back memories of my youth. I'll just have one while we're talking. I whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, You're a terror in the kitchen. Oh, sushi, guys, sushi. Oh, that. I didn't expect that one. I knew oh, you were that's doing like the place. I'm just going to put this on here because I'm a little bit of colour. Kind of Can I make another one while you're doing that? Because I think I've got, got the hang of this I now. Don't... Do we have time? Oh, well, I think that'll be but in anyway, demand. This is just. Look, your friends will love you for doing this to them, really. I mean, it's so easy to do. I've got the hang of this Sushi already. Sushi in the kitchen. Sushi Anybody in the can kitchen. do it, and it's a winner. Don't forget, here on White Trash Cooking. Wild rice. We want some wild rice. Did they bring any food with them? Oh, I think they've got rice. Do you fancy a crust, Remy? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's play! Mm. I love...
Fantastic. And, and where can we find you guys? Hang on, I'm running over here. Sorry, everyone, I'm frightened you. Where, where can you play? You play? We play intermittently at the Glass House and at Subterrain in um, North Fitzroy and at Muddy Waters in Pran. They're great. Go out and find them. They're the best. That's fantastic. OK, well, thank you very much. The end of our second season. Let's have a look at these hors d'oeuvres. They're fantastic. Come over and eat something. Ooh. <laughs> Mine's a step. Wow, it's great. Look at that. Yeah, I would like to present you. This is our very special dish of the day. It's called White Trash Sushi. And it's made with very, 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 very white and quite dry by this stage bread. And if you can see, we've done that. This is why we're we'll rolling the credits over all of this, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. actually really think can come through. Well, I think they might be some more. Oh, yeah. well, it's a bit scary, isn't it? And then, of course, you've got all your little bits and pieces. And then, do you want to just explain what you've done here as well? Look at them. They look absolutely horrified because they're serious <laughs> musicians. They're not touching this crap. Oh, I can understand yeah. why after you've okay, seen the preparation right. of that. Thank you very much, Wild Rice. Thank you. Thank you.